Hey guys, it's Hetty and welcome back to part uh, there. What day is it now? Uh, 18. 18th. Yeah, part 18 of the Fan Art Feb series. And today's just going to be a quick little one because I didn't have time to do a full one after doing the YouTube Artist Collective piece. But a bigger one tomorrow. So look forward to that one. I think I, I have no idea which one I'm even doing tomorrow yet. But anyway, hopefully a bigger one tomorrow. Um, yeah, this is just a uh, Bugs Bunny, which was requested by my husband first, and then Poodle Paws Forty Four said they would like to see a Bugs Bunny one too. So yeah, there's a Bugs Bunny. <laughs> um, we have time for one or a couple of questions that I'll answer for today, and these are also from Poodle Paws Forty Four. So the first one is, how do you like to relax when you're not making art? Um, sleep because <laughs> that's something I lack a lot of the time. I get woken up at 5am pretty much every morning and numerous times in the night because of a teething baby so sleep is my way of relaxing. I go to bed and just pass out so yeah that one. Uh, any tips for new artists who are still trying to find their style? Um, keep drawing. It's been a very very long process for me to find mine so I suppose the only thing I can say is what I did and that was first off look at other people's styles that you like the look of and that you at that time you want to draw like that like I know I was heavily influenced by um, Sirin her style and there was someone else but I can't remember now it's really bad but yeah, there's a few people that I was influenced by, and just anime in general. So like Masashi Kishimoto, the maker of Naruto. Um, I really wanted to try and draw in that style to start with, because Naruto and anime was a big inspiration at the start. But don't copy it perfectly. I mean, you can do it to get better at drawing, because when you copy someone else's art, it can make you get better at doing like anatomy and figuring out what you like and don't like to draw but then just remember don't sell those pieces because it's not your art it is theirs but as soon as you've started drawing features from other artists that you enjoy you end up sort of slipping into your own rhythm of drawing how you want to anyway so it starts to move away from looking like their style and then gradually you'll just get so comfortable with drawing different features and different parts and like how you draw it as well your techniques will improve which means your art will improve so I suppose the main point is keep drawing and yes look at other artists and take influence from them but just don't constantly copy them you still change what their drawing is that you like if you like the composition then draw that composition but try and draw it in a different style but yeah, that's probably the biggest tips is use them as reference to draw features that you like but not copy and then over time it will just gradually come and you'll just click and like, oh, my drawings are starting to actually look like the same sort of thing I've done all the time. I have a style, yay. But anyway, I hope that answers that question for you. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye.